Well, if you want to make your holiday party even more festive, why not impress with some easy but show-stopping desserts here with some great ideas that will have Santa knocking at your door is Sunil Ortiz from the Cupcake Carriage. Welcome, Sunil. Hey, Sarah. Thanks it is, for having me. It is so good to have you here. And this is what, you know, some people wait to the last minute, but this is not only delicious stuff, but you're also decorating with it, too. And they're yeah. easy things that everyone can do. Absolutely. My kids love to join me. Okay, let's start with the cupcakes, because these are like the cutest little cupcakes I've ever sure. seen. And everyone can do these. Of course. Fiona would love this. So Fiona would love them. We would take the... Um, Chocolate drizzle. Yep. Cut a very thin hole in the bag. This is just white chocolate. Just white chocolate. Okay. You're going to heat it up in 30 second intervals uh -huh. and then you're going to drizzle a wider. I'll get it. You can yep. keep talking. I can actually. Oh, yeah, there we go. Back from right to left. Yep. And then go smaller as just like a Christmas tree I as you get to too, the top. Too far, but. No, that's okay. That's the okay. The first right one's there. always the bad yep. one. And I was just going to say, layer it again so that it's stable so when this cools and dries you're gonna be able to pick this up and it's gonna be yep, this you hard can just tree enjoy just like it yeah and then you add your oh my god oh, sugar, sugar star oh yeah there, you know what Fiona's actually it. gonna be mad that I didn't wait for her to do these they're so fun <laughs> that's the thing about kids love doing baked goods like this with oh. you right you know I had to think about Fiona I put ah! I gave you guys some cookie decorating kits in the back I and then that. you can add a few sprinkles <gasps> This is great to even do if you're having like a holiday party and the kids are just sitting around and all the adults are playing and talking and oh, they're like, what am I going to do? With a nice glass of wine, you're yeah. done. Give them a little like thing to do like this and yeah. they'll love it. And you then you put can that on dip and... that, yep, let it dry, dip uh, your coconut, your cupcake in coconut to give the illusion of snow oh my and then add this once it dries and they will look just like this. Okay, so I'm going to put this one on, the one that you did. Yep. And like I said, that is something that everyone can do. The kids can even do it. It's the cutest little thing. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about this sugar cookie wreath. Oh, yes. We love this sugar cookie wreath. Um, this makes the perfect gift, like, for teachers, your neighbor. Oh, yeah. You can put strawberry jam in the middle or just yeah. enjoy it just like this. What you would do is make a sugar cookie recipe or any okay. gingerbread recipe. Now, do you have to do, like, a certain recipe that's, like, a no-spread sugar cookie yep, recipe? I was just going to say that. Okay. It's, uh, or you freeze it in the uh, freezer for a bit before you cut them. So do you freeze, like, you chill, cut, chill again? Yep. Okay, yep. And then bake. And that'll keep it from spreading. And then you're going to place it around. And you can make these very big. You can make them small. You're going to place them around, keeping in mind to keep room between the arms so that you're able to put the string right through the middle. I love this, too, because I was thinking when you said um, the, the cookie wreath, that you bake all the cookies and then somehow you put them together. But I like that you bake them all together like this. Oh, yeah. You put it right go there. To yep. <laughs> you bake it right in the oven for about 15, 18 minutes, and they come out just like this, make a perfect gift. It's, it is a perfect gift. And not only is it a perfect gift, but it also you could put it like on a centerpiece or with another tray of cookies yep. like you can box them yeah. and you know put a nice beautiful holiday bow and you're done perfect yeah. okay so talk to me about this this macaron tree yes how do you everybody say loves the french macaron trees the towers because they just make the tree your treat table look so chic so we use chocolate just like that grab your bag oh okay yep and you Start with the front. Uh huh. And so just put like a little just circle put it up. on. And what a great idea. Put it just like that and keep going around. You know, we see these on Instagram, social media, wherever you find these things. And then you think, that is so cute. How are they sticking though? Is it like just for show? Can you eat them? And then oh, obviously yes. when you're using white chocolate, it's obviously an edible tree. Yep. Yep, and I use white chocolate because it keeps it's much more stable. So you would just go all the way around. Yeah. And then you can add a bow with glitter to make it look just pretty and chic to go with your little uh, Christmas tree at home. I love it, and you can make it match everything. But listen, yeah. you and I love to bake, but people that don't actually like to do any of this, at all, they can just call you. They can. They can uh, call me at the Cupcake Carriage. Uh, follow me on Instagram at the Cupcake Carriage. It's three words, or follow me on my website. And you do parties, you take the, the carriage right to people's houses, right? Yep. The Cupcake Carriage is a beautiful mobile bakery that shows up with beautiful treats just like this. And uh, we're catering 
to your corporate and to your birthday parties, weddings, showers. I mean, how great is it to pull up in a cupcake carriage for your kid's birthday party and have everybody just go into the truck and have the party? Yes, and it's beautiful. And there's no cleanup for moms and dads. All right, well, for more info, visit thecupcakecarriage.com.